I am Anil Kumar and here is a question from my brilliant student Joseph on midpoint of line segments. The question is, the midpoints of the sides of the triangle have coordinates A, 3, 1, B, minus 1, 2 and C, 1, minus 3. Determine the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle. Joseph, this is indeed an excellent question and I hope solution of this will help many of my viewers. Now let me give you a concept here and then we'll provide the solution. So I'll just sketch a triangle. Let's say this is a triangle whose midpoints are given to us. These are the midpoints. If we join these midpoints what do we observe? We observe that we do make a triangle within a triangle. But what is so special about it? The sides of this triangle are parallel to the opposite sides. And you'll also see that they are half the length if we join the midpoints, right? So, so if I name them, let us say A, B and C, and let's say the triangle which we have outside is D, E and F. In that case, B, C is parallel to F, E and B, C is half the length of F, E. You will also note that B, C which is parallel to, let me now draw two arrows, BC will also be equal to EF since BC is half FE and A is the midpoint. So what we note here is that BC is parallel to AE, let me write, and BC is also congruent to, so the length of BC is same as length of AE, right? So let me write this as the magnitude of these are also same. Now that is the property which we are going to use to find the coordinates of point E, which is one of the vertices of your triangle. Do you get the idea? So that is the concept. Now actually, if you have understood the concept, you can pause the video, answer, and then compare your solution. So let's see. The midpoints of the sides of the triangle have coordinates A as 3, 1. So we'll write this as 3, 1. B as minus 1, 2. And C as 1, minus 3. Determine the coordinates of vertices of the triangle. So let us first find the coordinates of point E. Okay. So what we will do here is we will see what is the change in coordinates when we move from B to C. So, so the strategy is change should be same, right? So that is the strategy. So let's find the change in X value and change in Y value. So change in X value, let me write this as delta X, is equals to 1 minus minus 1. 1 minus minus 1, that is 2. And change in y value is minus 3, minus 3, minus 2. Okay, so minus 3, minus 2 is minus 5. So that is the change from B to C. So this is the change which we observe when we are moving from B to C, right? So therefore, we should have same change if we move from A to E, right? Same change moving from A to E means that the X value should increase by 2 since, since the change in X is 2 and the Y value should decrease by 5, correct? So X value here is 3. So we can get coordinates of point E as 3 plus 2, right? 3 plus 2. And the y coordinate should be 1 minus 5. You get an idea, right? So, so that could be written as 5 minus 4. 
So that is how you can get coordinates of point E. You get an idea, right? Now, we'll follow the same process so that you really understand how we have done it. And this time, we'll find the coordinates for point F. Now, let's do, let's go over this once again, right? Now, you can actually find coordinates of point F by another method also. You know the midpoint and that point, so you can always find. But we'll verify whether it is correct or not by using that property. So let's find coordinates of point F using the strategy which we just learned. This time, we are moving left, right, from C to B. So let us find change as we are moving from C to B, right? So this time, the change is from C to B. That is to say, uh, in X value, this time, when we are moving from, let me write C to B, right? So that's the reverse direction, okay? So we'll do x2 minus x1, which is minus 1 minus 1, which is again uh, minus 2, and change in y will be 2 minus minus 3, that is plus 5. And therefore, if we move from a to f, we have to add this, right? So now we are moving from a to f, right? So a is 3, so to get the point F, we should add minus 2 to it, right? So we have 3 minus 2, and from 1, we have to add 5 to get to F. So the points for F should be 3 minus 2 is 1, and 1 plus 5 is 6. This, that seems to be the coordinates of point F. Now, let us check at this time. So what we will do now is check if these points are correct or not. So we have found that coordinates for point F is 1, 6. So let me write down these coordinates here. This is 1, 6 and E is 5 minus 4. Now we know A is 3, 1. So to check what we can do is add and divide by 2. So, so A is midpoint, right? A is midpoint given to us, right? So the check is 3 should be equal to 1 plus 5 divided by 2. And that is indeed correct, 6 divided by 2. So that is correct. Similarly, 1 should be equal to 6 plus minus 4 divided by 2. And that is, that is 2 divided by 2. And that is also 1. So we have seen that this process really works. You get an idea, right? So that is a good way and an easy way of solving such questions. And now I'd like you to pause the video, find coordinates of point E. Now here is a quick solution for the same. So we'll go from point B to D, right? B to D. We already know A to C. So we'll check the change from A to C. Change from A to C is in X value it is 1 minus 3 which is minus 2 and in Y value it is minus 3 minus 1 which is minus 4. So from A to C that is the change. It should be same from B to D also, right? So from B to D we expect the same change, correct? So what we should do is, to find the coordinates of point D, the X value should be added by minus 2, so it is minus 1, minus 2. The Y value, 2, we should add minus 4, right? So that gives us the answer. That is to say, the coordinates for point D are minus 3, and this is minus 2. So that becomes the coordinates for point D, correct? You can check if it works. Minus 3, so the coordinates for point D is minus 3, minus 2. Easy check is add minus 3 and 1, which get minus 2. Divide by 1 is minus 1. So that is the midpoint. Minus 2 plus 6 is plus 4. Divide by 2 is 2. So that is the midpoint. So we get correct answers, right? So the answers are, coordinates for the vertices are 
d is minus 3 minus 2 e is 5 minus 4 and f is 1 6 so this is probably the best way of solving such questions joseph i hope you have learned the strategy try some similar questions and then let me know if there is any difficulty i'm anil kumar you can actually subscribe to my videos and learn a lot thank you and all the best